Here's what we got mapped out for today's Cleveland Browns report. Could Kareem Hunt be re-signing with the Browns? There's been some chatter about that. Speaking of running backs, what about Jarek McKinnon? We're going to look at the former Georgia Southern running back. But really quickly and really friendly too, please hit that sub button if you have not already. Trying to reach the next milestone, 18,000 subscribers. Be the one that gets us across that big milestone. Now, Kareem Hunt. He remains an unrestricted free agent. He can sign anywhere at any time. He's up there in the age column. He's going to turn 28 years old this August, and we know GMs get very weary of older running backs. So could the Browns have some interest in bringing him back on a vet minimum deal with it looking like not many other teams have much interest in signing Kareem Hunt? So if he's not going to command much money in free agency, might the Browns decide, you know what, we will bring it back for another season. Here's our, here are his rushing stats from 2022. I don't need to paint a very colorful picture for you guys. We know how it went with Kareem Hunt last year. Good start to the year. Not a very good finish. He averaged under four yards a carry. That's a black eye when GMs are looking at running backs. His receiving stats, not a whole lot better. 35 receptions, 210 yards, just one touchdown. He struggled to get things going. So, would the Browns have much interest in returning Kareem Hunt? When you look at this depth chart, it is a little untested after Nick Chubb, right? You have Jerome Ford, who's only had like 10 or so carries in his career. John Kelly has more or less been a really good practice squad player, but also just a practice squad player. So, would the Browns have interest in bringing Kareem Hunt back? I want to know from you guys. Would you want Kareem Hunt back? Really curious what the uh, pulse of the dog pound is when it comes to re-signing number 27. It's the pinned comment, so let me know down in the comment section. I don't think I'm the only one who feels this way, but at times last year, we were all screaming at our TVs, get Kareem Hunt off the field. I just remember games like the Bills game in Detroit, which still sounds so weird to say, where he was getting hands off, handoffs out of shotgun. And it's like, we're just signing up to lose two yards a carry every time Hunt touches the ball or maybe get back to the line of scrimmage. The offensive line when Posick went down was not doing him many favors, but it looked like he lost a step. It looked like he did not have the one-time ability to get around the edge, right? To burst through the gap. It looked like... Older and slower and fatter defensive tackles were going step for step with him. Plus, wouldn't be opposed to a little bit of a Jerome Ford season, baby. He showed us a lot of promise and flash during the preseason last year. We got some sparks out of him on special teams after that ankle injury he sustained during the Falcons game. He only had eight carries for 12 yards. He is basically untested. We know very little about him during a regular season game outside of special teams. So if the Browns don't feel all that comfortable and they're like, you know what, we can get a little bit more out of Kareem Hunt and we're already going so far chips in the table on this year, maybe they would have interest in bringing Hunt back for another season. We're going to talk about another running back in just a brief moment, but I want to give some shout outs right, near, right now because you know that is a staple of the channel. So shout out to Edward, R.E.T., Eric, Joshua Miller, The Locker Room Rant. You have been an MVP lately with sharing our videos on Twitter and elsewhere. So if you enjoy the free content here, help us grow the channel. Sending it to your friends, your family, sharing it on social media goes a long way, believe me. Let's talk about Jarek McKinnon here. So there's been a lot of different outlets that cover the Browns, just fans in general on Twitter, that have suggested signing Jarek McKinnon. He is older than you maybe think. He turns 31 years old this May, and that's definitely going to, you know, make some GMs pretty weary about signing a 30-plus-year-old running back. Look at Zeke right now. He's about to be out of the league, and he's 26. Uh he is coming off a 10-touchdown season, by the way, which definitely helps when Patrick Mahomes is your quarterback. Now, he's not a phenomenal rusher in between the tackles. Just 291 yards on 72 carries. A better average than Kareem Hunt did, though, at four yards per touch. Just one touchdown. But receiving, nine receiving touchdowns last year. 512 yards, 
56 receptions. Now, that is something the Browns could have interest in because they have a good running back who's going to actually run the football between the tackles or really anywhere you want with Nick Chubb. But Jarek McKinnon could be sort of the next Kareem Hunt in terms of offering you a little bit of flexibility and a different look coming out of the backfield, right? We know that the Browns are hopefully going to run a lot of shotgun with Deshaun Watson. Jarek McKinnon is a great receiving threat on checkdowns. He does a great job of hanging around and just making plays out of the backfield when the quarterback does check it down to him. So with the box for Nick Chubb checking off all pro running back, but maybe not the best receiving back, although I do think he gets more hate in that department than he should get. Jarek McKinnon could be a fun change of pace in that department. So pick a running back for me, though. Who would you rather have? Very curious to see what the results are of this question. Kareem Hunt or Jarek McKinnon? I put the jersey number for the two guys on screen. Let me know down in the comment section. Watson does his best out of shotgun, right? So to me, it feels like the more logical sense would be to give him a guy who, on checkdowns this past season, scampered his way to nine touchdowns, right? I think Jarek McKinnon, even though he's 31, we know Watson and Houston thrived when he was in shotgun and the pistol formation. So that's why I'm thinking Jarek McKinnon might have a leg up over Kareem Hunt. Plus, I was the captain. I was the MVP, the czar, the prime minister, if you will, of keeping Kareem Hunt in Cleveland last year and not trading him away. But that's probably a take I'll look back at and go, if someone offered the Browns a fourth-round pick, I sure hope they took it because Kareem Hunt by the end of the season just did not look like the one-time NFL rushing leader with the Chiefs, right? He hasn't gotten a whole lot of attention in free agency so far. Feels like the league maybe thinks that his time is over. Jarek McKinnon, meanwhile, yeah, he's older. He's 31. He's got a couple extra years on, on uh, Kareem Hunt. He's had some serious injuries in his past. But at the same time, a guy that scored 10 touchdowns last year, I do not give that a consideration, right? Meanwhile, with Kareem Hunt, he scored four touchdowns in total. Two of them came in the first week of the season against the Panthers. So after that, he never brought much spark or much uh, you know, energy to the offense, if you will. So for that reason, I'm leaning towards Jarek McKinnon. Having said all this, Every time I think the Browns are done signing players, what does Andrew Barry do? He signs another player, right? I didn't think they were going to add another wide receiver after they traded for Elijah Moore. Andrew Barry watched that video, and it's like, I want to make you look dumb. I'm going to go out and sign Marquise Goodwin. So, while I think the Browns might be tapped out of free agency after spending a good chunk of change and not having the amount of cap space the Bears or the Falcons had to spend... I wouldn't put it past him to just sneak in one more vet minimum one-year signing for, you know, Jarek McKinnon or Kareem Hunt. So I feel like if I say they're not going to sign anyone, they're going to go sign someone. So we'll wait and see if it happens. I think a running back pick is more likely in the draft. I mean, after they signed a wide receiver, if we could just talk about that for a second... I don't envision them drafting a wide receiver anymore. So maybe they allot whatever pick or whatever round they thought would be good for a wide receiver. They go running back because Nick Chubb, unfortunately, he's midway through now his second contract with the team. We don't see running backs get a long shelf, shelf life. So might they look to try and draft his replacement and bring some competition in with Jerome Ford. And one of those two guys could take over in two or three seasons. That's going to do it for us on today's show. Thank you so much for tuning in. Hit me up on Twitter, by the way. If you haven't already, follow me at Matthew Petey. I tweet about the Browns. I tweet about the NFL, all that good stuff. So give me a follow. Hope you guys enjoy the rest of your weekend. Enjoy your March Madness picks. I know I won't because Tennessee broke my heart. So I'll catch up with everyone later with more Browns news and rumors. 